Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Euphoria. Now, I'm just going to kind of uh, tell you right now, this is a re-record, actually, so we're going to get started, and I'll explain why. Um, I haven't done it, I just decided to restart it, because I recorded about half of this episode, and it was shit. So, Liberation, your comrades, your comrades are held captive deep in the sector. Break into their jail and free them. We know they live, but where can they be? So, that was a very terrible accent that is indistinguishable so basically this level is kind of like a circular level and we're on the outside of it so what we're gonna want to do oops is not do that even though we couldn't uh, we're gonna send a thing over here because this is a big planet so we might be able to do some good by uh, taking it over seems like a good course of action now this area basically is divided into two parts if you go to the left side you're gonna have to fight off the green colony if you go to the right side you're gonna have to fight off the yellow colony but what we did and the the only objective of this area is to go ahead and uh, that was not a good idea. That was a poor choice of action right there because we already got fucking people taking us over really easily. God damn it. Um, what I did, I started going both sides, but the the only thing you have to do in this level is uh, find your comrades, which are down here. You can't really tell, but that's the bottom, and we can't reach them if we go to the left side, and I was I was like, oh, looks like we can just go two sides, because we had already broken through more of the of the right side than the left side, so I decided to start going over here, and it was already 15 minutes, and we hadn't beaten this level yet. And I was like, oh, well, let's just go the right side, and it save some time. And it turns out, if you go over to this right side, you cannot get to the bottom from here. If you go to the right side, it's a dead end. So this is a complete waste of time. And it was very disappointing, so I was like, God damn it, so... Uh, anyway, today is October 27th, 2011, which is pretty cool, considering, um... This is the only, like, game that I ever record the day I'm gonna upload, because it's getting kind of a, a chore to upload this on a, on a semi-daily basis. Uh, what are we getting attacked from over here? I don't know. Oh, cool! It looks like in this area they're gonna be gray this time, or maybe these are the green ones. I don't know. There we go, there's that, and now we've got an extra one of these, we can pluck you, and then send you over here, and hopefully, because we have two defense trees here, which means we can plant two mines at the same time here, which is very nice, um, we don't have to worry about this planet, it's kind of a speed-based one, so we're gonna put a defense tree there, just so that it doesn't get taken over as easily, because we are going to want to have as much, uh, as much defense as we want, as we can in keeping our stuff, because what we're gonna want to do is build up a huge army and then just just pile through this first area and go and just take them over from the right left side because I think from what I can tell this is already completely different than how it was in the last episode um, so I guess there's that this one has good energy so we'll put two two of those and then one of these and we're gonna plant more mines because this area decided to be so dickish with the enemies and their flowers that it was unbelievably stupid. It was, it was the, the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life because every planet, every asteroid had a fucking huge ass goddamn mine and we kept dying. Oh god, so anyway, this episode's only like three minutes right now, but hopefully if I, I was saying if as long as we finish one level in 15 minutes or less, then we'll do a second one. But um, I'm hoping that's the case here. So after level 15, it's been about a month since I've actually practiced those levels, and I'm not looking to really do those at all because I don't want to have to replay this game twice again because, like I said, I'm pretty much ready for this to be done, and it's not that I don't enjoy doing it because, I don't know, it's just I like I like commentating and talking to you guys. I don't know about you guys. I mean, <laughs> it's enjoyable, you know, but I don't know. I mean, there are far worse things I could be doing other than this, and this is kind of a nice deviation. I can kind of just vent to you guys. You guys don't really get the real picture because I fucking suck at conveying my emotions and my feelings in words that actually make sense to you guys. I don't know if that even makes any sense to you right now. I mean, what? when does anything I say ever make sense? I usually end up talking about something, and then I get all fucking distracted by, by nothing. I'll just be like, oh, yeah, look at something really obvious in the game, and then something else that's really obvious in the game will happen, and I won't even have done anything. So here we've got the highlighter people. I don't know if this one's ours. Looks like maybe it is. No, nope. Yep, this one is. And I don't know what it's doing. And we're going to die. A bunch of our troops are going to die. Oh, never mind. They're going to run away, and they're combust into death. Please. Plox. Hmm. Not a bad planet, it's just got strength going for it mostly. What the fuck is going on over here? You go over here. Mine, we're going to pluck you, put you over here. Better than Ezra is playing in the background. Very nice. I love this song. Good. You so good. Oh, 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 and there's Wolf. Wolf Garden. God damn it. No, Wolf Mother. 
God, I don't really, I don't know. I don't mind wolf guarding. The, oh my God. I don't really mind wolf. Okay, I never, I don't really mind that band, that Australian trio from Australia, but um, what was I just going to say? But the song that was on the Spider-Man 3 soundtrack, Please Meet You, is actually pretty, pretty good. I actually really enjoy it quite a bit. So there's that. I've been listening to the Spider-Man the soundtracks a lot lately, which is kind of cool, I guess, because I don't know. The movies are pretty good. I kind of like three and two and one. I kind of like all of them. <laughs> I don't really, I don't know. I don't really look into them as much. I'm not really, I mean, I guess I do like comics to a certain extent, but I've never like bought any, you know, I've never really been the comic book kind of person. So take that how you will. I don't mean as an insult to those who do that. And ooh, God damn it. This is a strong fucking planet in terms of everything. Okay. We destroyed the breeding. Okay. Now we've got a defense tree here with us. Oh wait, you didn't even take it over yet. We got this one. What the hell is, who's attacking us over here? We're gonna attack over here from, I guess, the right side. We're gonna pluck you, mine. Come on, mine, pluck. Thank you. But we didn't pluck you yet. We need uh, the de defense on the right side. If it's better to have the fortified defenses on the right side because um, we're not gonna be taking over this area because we can't reach them. In all honesty, so um, so we've got the flower over here to enhance our seedlings, which is pretty good. We've got a new defense tree over here. Ooh, what? Where did that? Okay, we're gonna take this flower and put it on this defense tree because it is very good right now. It is this very strong, uh, shit, yeah, this is a pretty good one, so we're gonna put two more breeding trees, and we're gonna make this our new, our new kind of host, so, and this one we can make into the mine, very nice, into the Mayan, into the mine, so yeah, I haven't really talked about this yet, I don't know if I did in the Shadows of the Dams episode I've recorded, I've recorded up to, I think, episode 17 now, but, um, it's kind of cool, I bought a rocksmith finally, I caved in, and I was like, you know what, fuck it, I've... I've got like $1,300 saved up for my work, so I might as well just spend 80 of it and try out this game that everyone's writing my dick to fucking try out, so I did for once, and it wasn't too bad, so it was, it was fairly flawed, I'm not gonna lie, there's a lot of things they could improve on, but for what it is, it is kind of a neat little concept, because what I was playing was actually in the game, and that's really kind of cool, because it's like songs I didn't think I'd be able to play on guitar, was cool. What, something that really annoyed me though was the fact that they fucking they had to make you retune your guitar every time or they go to the tune screen after every song even if you like just decided to replay like five minutes later. It's kind of a it's, it's a minor nuisance but it's not bad. I mean it's there for a reason and it's better to be in tune because the game does um, take your uh, oh nice we got a flower here we're gonna put it on this planet. The game does take into consideration the sound of which you're playing, so you can be playing like an open E string, but then the D string or whatever the second smallest string, um, the second smallest string, you'd be able to play that on five and it'd be the same song. As long as the notes sound the same, then it doesn't matter what string you're playing, but it's, I guess it's more or less recommended that you do that regardless. So. Um, it, it is pretty neat. I don't know if people would want to invest into it. I mean, I've been playing guitar since I was 11, and I still found it to be fairly, fairly fun. So, I mean, take that how you will. I don't really, really know about you guys, because I know a lot of elitists are going to be like, Oh my god, this game sucks. It's for noobs. And to an extent, it is, because it's so funny how they started you off. It's like, hello, welcome to Rocksmith. Do you know how to play a guitar? This is a guitar. This is your string. This is how you tune it. Make it go higher by playing the higher notes, blah, blah, blah. And the notation is really awkward as fuck in the game, too. So, oh, shit. That, dude, that one is ours. Very good. So it looks like we got a lot of stuff over here. And this one is, yeah, we got a new mine over here. Nice. Ugh. So let's see over here. A uh, new mine. Oh, we've got a ton of fucking shit over here. We're going to take this fucker over like there ain't no tomorrow. And this video's only been seven minutes, so we might have to go and see. As you can tell, here we are over here. And I'm, our troops are going to be on, like, one of these two. But oh, I went over here, and by the time we got... Oh, fucking A. Fucking A. Okay, so now... Okay. There was not this... This asteroid right here was not there when I was playing this. It was gone. There was no way we could get over there from the right side. God damn it, game. Maybe I'll just put a flash of the previous episode where I decided to quit because it was impossible and we'd have to waste, like, 30 minutes to the one part. But... Oh, well, at least this is pretty good. We're, we're, we're making great ground over here. And I'm doing a really terrible job at navigating my troops because I want to send these. Oh, we've got a new mine over here. Nice. All right, we're going to send you over here. Over hither. And uh, so, yeah. Um, so, let's see. I'm trying to think of what I talked about. 
in the last episode that I really wanted to talk about, but then I didn't get around to it because I decided to restart it. There's a lot of stuff, but not really. Um, <laughs> yeah, like that makes a lot of sense. God damn it. Um, I've been watching a lot of like random let's plays like of people I don't normally watch just from like other videos, and I gotta say, those are really like I don't want to sound rude or demeaning because I wouldn't consider myself a professional let's player by any stretch of the imagination but some of them are really bad I'm not gonna lie I mean the commentary is just so poor like when, when I say poor I don't mean it's like they don't have anything interesting to say which is kind of the case in most of them but a lot of them just don't have anything interesting to add it's just so boring and it's just like, I don't even know how I got into the topic of talking about Let's Plays and what I thought about mine because I I think mine are pretty well made because I kind of put more time than needed into them because, I don't know, I work a lot with HD and shit and a lot of editing equipment with uh, that is being powered on very poor instrumentation. Like my laptop is ancient that I'm doing all this shit on, which is why sometimes the... Uh, I guess the effects of what I'm trying to do don't exactly play out the way they should be, which uh, <laughs> probably is just sounding like a load of bullshit to anyone who actually listens to these and takes everything I say into consideration because, I don't know, a lot of the problems with those LPs that I watch is the fact that they're really boring to watch, that they don't add any kind of real or realistic, I guess, enthusiastic flair. They just feel like it just sounds like they're not enjoying what they're doing. I And I do really enjoy making these because I, w I obviously wouldn't be doing a game as boring as Euphoria if I didn't enjoy talking because I rarely talk like I'm such a quiet person and everyone thinks I'm shy, but I don't consider myself shy. If you guys, I don't know, if you guys had to judge me, just that sounds really bad. If you guys had to judge me based on just my I guess my voice and my enthusiasm when playing, you wouldn't imagine me as I am in real life. You would not know it's me, and it's just kind of interesting how that, you know, develops. But why can't we reach this one? See how the game puts shit out of reach? Maybe, we, yeah, maybe if we go down here, yep, we'll reach right there. Never mind. But there was absolutely no way to get the other one, I swear to God. <laughs> I'm not even lying. So we're taking this over with relative ease, I might say. Uh, do declare. So we got a flower over here. We're going to send over to this planet. Send the rest of the troops over here. Um, I think we could probably start sending these guys over. It doesn't matter at this point how much like we're getting dead up there because we're so far into this level that we don't even... Oh, we didn't have to go down. Oh, God. And now uh, Let Love Rule by Lenny Kravitz is playing. Such a good song. God, I fucking love this song so much. It's such a good song. I'm like, I don't know. It's so weird. Like the uh, sister Lisa Bonet on... The Cosby Show actually married Lenny Kravitz during the show's playing routine, which is why she was kind of written out of her role, which is kind of funny because they like made her go to Europe and stuff and made her stay out of the family, and she didn't even show up to Theo's graduation. God, I fucking love The Cosby Show. The Cosby Show was such a good show. I don't even know. It's, I went through this phase of watching all these old TV shows like Roseanne, The Cosby Show, and there's something else. The Wonder Years is pretty cool, too. Like I started watching that with actually my family. And that one is actually kind of interesting. I usually, I don't know. That's, um, I don't really watch, like, the sitcoms of my generation because, actually, that was more like an 80s, yeah, that was more like an 80s sitcom. Yeah, watching, uh, I don't know, watching a sitcom of your own generation just seems like it'd be weird. I don't see my, I don't, I don't, I don't know. You guys know what I mean? I mean, <laughs> oh, yeah, the allies, yeah, the allies are in possession of a new way of growing seedlings, seedlings of great power. Okay, so this is what we got into in the last episode a little bit. Perfect. So now we have enhanced seedlings. Planting flowers are now enable to enhance, enhance Dyson trees. Dyson trees produce enhanced seedlings, which are more capable than regular ones. Conquer the asteroid above you and continue our mission. Oh, great. So now we have to, Oh, this is going to be no problem. Oh, wait, this is already ours, isn't it? So here, you can see to the left now that if we have a flower, or a flower instead of planting mine, we can plant an enhanced Dyson tree instead. So you'll notice I put the flowers... Oh, shit, we didn't get the artifact in this level. Well, last time the artifact was, like, in one of these asteroids. Maybe it's still there, but... It's basically is, like, the... So you basically sacrifice a flower in order to do that, and then you'll be good for enhanced Dyson trees, so that's pretty cool. I and mean, basically, your seedings will be a lot stronger, a lot better, so as you can tell, they're all glowing. Those are the ones that we got from this planet. So we're gonna can't conquer this one, which has fucking nothing. We're... This, those guys are fucked in the ass. Yeah, all right, sweet. Yeah, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Well, that kind of sucks we missed the asteroid or the artifact here, but like I said, they're random, so I'm not going to go bother looking for those. And like I already said, I'm, I'm pretty much ready to be done with, with that nonsense. 
with this nonsense. So here, look at look at the fucking right side. You see the you know Dyson trees. Look look at this. All right. So here we can actually get an achievement. If we have a hundred percent for energy, strength, and speed, we'll be able to uh, get an achievement for that. So so we can plant a uh, yeah a terraforming plant, and we can have this be our ultimate plant. There's several other asteroids we could have done this for, but just look at those guys, man. They're like they're like amazing. They're like Star Fox dual barrel. God, see, look at don't those look like the God? I used to I used to love Star Fox. Star Fox was the shit. I don't know what they were talking about, but so yeah, and that's probably what we're gonna be focusing most of our efforts. Instead of all these mines that we have had out here, we could have had one of those uh, enhanced Dyson trees. Oh, and there we go, uplift. So there's that achievement. It's just by having the maximum stats for this planet, which is great amazingness. And we don't really need that. We just need to go up here. With that, we'll take this over, and yes, it looks like we'll be able to get a second episode in here just barely. Well, not really, just barely. Just hopefully the next episode will go a little bit faster. I mean, if all goes well, then we'll be good. But as you can tell, we are doing some fucking work with those new Dyson seedlings. Because, yes, the growers will be proud. This new weapon will allow us to chase and destroy the gray sickness. So that is amazing, 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 amazing. So we unlocked Skirmish Arena. Okay, not that we really need it. It's a 30, 30 minutes. How did that take 30 minutes? I don't think so, not according to my thing, unless I'm reading it wrong. Maybe I am. So, cluster. Cluster, fluffer, puff. So, this fertile cluster is under attack by our enemies. Do not allow them to gain control. Our new enhanced seedlings will be crucial in this fight. 15 asteroids plus the center will determine the victory. You can enhance seedlings separately from regular seedlings using the thing in sending mode. So, yep. So, yes, this is beautiful, you guys. This is so nice. All right, so we're going to plant more trees here. And, uh... I, I, I don't know if that's right, but uh, yeah, you actually only need half of the, maybe, I think you need only half of the seedlings to be able to actually uh, plant trees. Instead of ten, you can only use, you could use five now, so that's something I think. And I think this is actually a rehash of an earlier level, from as far as I could tell right now. I don't know if these are Dyson trees, are they? Enhanced ones? No. Like, they shouldn't be, but damn, now look at those guys. Now, now, they're, now they're bringing in the big guns. Oh, God. But at least we're taking them over like it's no big deal now. So we need to take over 15 asteroids. Let's hopefully we can do this fast because that'd be kind of annoying if we didn't. So yeah, it looks like that we're only planting normal trees now. We're going to want to get those enhanced Dyson trees to be ours. We got a pretty good, yep, a pretty good mother tree over here. Kind of. Not really. This one is not bad, I guess. But we're going to want to grow hopefully some... Uh, some... Uh, blah, 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 blah. We're going to want our main source of people to come from over here but uh, hopefully this doesn't decide to be stupid so this is a big circular kind of or is this the circular level I can't remember all the levels kind of seem to blend in after a while except for the backgrounds begin to change which is kind of cool but as you can tell they haven't really changed much from the very beginning of the game so take it oh and speed up I forgot about that <laughs> yeah let's see yeah let's just go play this in slow motion shall we Oh man, that's gonna be fun to watch. So yeah, let's keep talking. Uh, I'm listening to Arcade Fire now. Wake up, a song that uh, David Bowie actually played with these guys live once, which is a really cool rendition. It's a really good song. You guys should check it out. Um, I kind of, uh, I, I sound like such a hipster when I say this, but I kind of don't like the fact that it was popularized by Where the Wild Things Are, which again is a really good movie. Uh, Karen O oh from Yeah Yes did the soundtrack on that, and is really enjoyable. And I watched that once with my friend. We went to the theater and saw it. And yes, okay, we can plant new Dyson trees. So, as you, yep, let's plant those. So you actually need Dyson trees um, to make the enhanced Dyson trees, and you need defense trees to make the uh, to make the mine. So keep that in mind. I, I forgot to mention that. That's a very crucial thing. You can't plant them if you don't have any. You can't plant mines if you don't have defense trees. So just keep that in mind because that is kind of important. So I don't want some people over here. All right, so we know, oh, this is just a different one. This is just a clusterfuck of asteroids waiting to be screwed by our, you know, our metaphorical dicks. I don't know. I don't really cuss this much in real life. I'm sorry. It's just when I'm narrating and I'm being sarcastic. I don't usually make it, you know, in my vocabulary to swear so often. So I apologize if you guys are getting offended by that. I don't really, I don't really mind harsh language. I mean, I can take harsh language. It's just. It's just, I don't know, so many people take things so seriously, so, so much, so surf face. So, <laughs> so I apologize if you're offended by my, my icky, icky, gooey language. So this isn't a bad plan at all, let's make a tree there. Um, hopefully we can get some more flowers soon, because 
we're going to want to uh, have more enhanced dice trees. So we need this huge planner right here and 15 of the outside ones. God damn it. I think if we just went for the middle one first, then all will be good and we can actually... Uh, and we'll be able to uh, make our defenses here and then spread out our troops. So um, that is very good because <laughs> that would be kind of useful to be able to take out the biggest planet first and then... Actually, let's see. Oh, shit. That's not what I wanted to do. Let's send off one of our... Uh, we need to take this baby one. All right, let's take this one over first, actually. So, uh, so this one we are already taking over with great ease. We're going to plant you there to make our... There we go. All right, now we're going to want to send uh, a scout over here and see. Let's see what we got over here because if it's a planet, we can take... Okay, so the central asteroid is key to conquering the system. All right, so they've got 100 enemies here. No defense trees, it looks like, but they've got... Do they... They do not have any enhanced trees. All right, so some of the black people are coming over here. Some enhanced enemies are going... Oh, God. They have flowers. Shit. This isn't good. This is not good. I don't know if we'll be able to take them out as early as I'd planned because our troops... We need to get at least, like, 300 before we start doing that. So if, if we get lucky, we might be able to take them out pretty, pretty fast if we just go in while we're strong. But I'm not exactly sure because we have kind of not very good troops right now. And uh, we need more of the Dyson tr troops. I mean, we could try, but I have a feeling that those uh, those flowers are going to do us in pretty good here. So let's try and get this outer asteroid and we can hopefully plant some stuff here while some more flowers are growing. Hopefully we get some more soon. So that would be very pleasant. Um, we might want to plant a defense tree here, though. Nah, we want to plant a defense tree on our strongest planet. Oh, shit. We're getting attacked. Well, we have 115 seedlings here. I don't think it'd be a good idea to rush them quite yet, unless one of their, unless one of the blacks start enhancing or going towards them, because we're in range of their planet, obviously. So let's try going over here with all of our troops, because we need to maintain our defenses as a higher pr priority. They haven't planted or they haven't uh, plucked their flower yet, which is kind of odd, or their tree over there. And oh god, what the? Those aren't ours, are they? I don't. Know. Hmm. Are right, we gonna take this one over? Head over here. Okay, I think my 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 people are being stupid heads and running over there. Okay, so here we got a nice little defense tree. Oh shit, they just destroyed it. Never mind. Just kidding. They decided to destroy our only means of, you know, mass destruction. So let's start moving our people over here. Now we can start maintaining our defenses over here. Maybe build a mine there or two. Except that's just ah oh, shit. Yeah, we destroyed the defense tree. I forgot about that. Well, that sucks. All right, don't go over there and start being stupid, please. I said, there we go. All right, so let's see. We've been recording 17 minutes, it looks like, or something. I think I think I started at 2.20 in the morning because I think I already mentioned this multiple times. It's October 27th, and um, um, it looks like it's about 2.37 right now. I can kind of see my computer. Um, so, yeah, let's keep let's keep on going because we're, we're ready almost to take these guys over, except not really. I don't want to have to... Ugh. It's kind of pointless to have these asteroids, but they've got two flowers here, two defense trees, and two spawning things with a bunch of enemies that have high strength, speed, and energy. So we're really going to have to have a lot of people here, as well as uh, other things. Let's start growing, like, all right, let's see, our strongest planet over here appears to be this middle one right here. So we're going to send our troops over here. Maybe make a defense tree. I don't know if we want to. Now nah, we're, we're going to plant two trees there. We got five trees here. This is a nice one to get some people. Uh, this is a very bad one, so we're not going to bother with that. We just need to take it over and we'll be good. As long as we're out of range, we don't really have to worry much. This one is kind of bad, too, so we're going to put you there. All right, so. Hope and dangles on a string. I don't even know the song. Um, <laughs> I kind of hate sometimes when you know, like, a song. When you're listening to it, you know the words, you know, when you're listening to the song. But then when you try to sing it yourself, you don't know the words at all. That's how I am with like 80% of the music I listen to. Except not really. That's a very big understatement. All right, so any more flowers, please? Uh, hmm. So back onto the topic of pointless things in my life. Um, I think I'm going to ask my boss for a pay raise. It's been almost, I think, more than six months that I began working my, my day job at uh, fucking Safeway. God damn it. If I haven't mentioned that at this point, then there's that. <laughs> but um, there's that for you. And just like, I don't know. It's it's not bad, I guess. I mean, there's more that 
I wish I could be doing right now. And I'm old enough to do pretty much whatever I wanted at this point. Holy fucking hell. Nice, nice. We're going to want to have this tree right here. I don't know if we want... Is there defense trees here? I can't tell. All right. Well, yeah, I think I'm going to go corner my boss sometime and be like, Hey, Steve, let's let's take a walk. How about it? How about it, buddy? I mean, you're a trooper, right? And he is named Steve, and it's so funny. I can't, I can't get the image of a red flower pick or red leaf Pikmin out of my head every time I think of that. Oh, and they sent their trees over there. Or their okay, now might be a good time to start attacking them. Yes, diverge from above and below. We will take this shit over because they've got three fucking defense trees now. God damn it! Come on, you guys. All right, time. It's it's time. It's now time to diverge our movements. Come on, come on, come on. I can't tell. Oh, shit, maybe they went back. Nope, nope, nope. All right, they they left there. They moved their flowers or their mines, which was a very stupid thing to do. They left their plant. Okay, looks like we're going to take it over, you guys. They're, they're retreating. They're retreating. Yeah! Oh, yes. We took this shit over, you guys. Oh, my God. Oh, you guys, that was luck. That's what I get about talking about my boss in such a high honor by referring to him as Steve the Trooper. God damn, that was amazing, you guys. We totally ninja those bitches. All right, so this is where we're going to want all of our main troops to be. This is obviously the strongest planet, but... And as I say that, all of them are moving to a different planet. And holy shit, this one is very strong. We're going to lose a bunch of troops here. I'm feeling it. Yeah, shit. Well, there we go. We took that one over. That one just had a lot of stuff. Oh, and we need to re-defend ourselves. Shit, 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 shit. Okay, where are those flowers... We need some mines to be grown, hopefully. Oh, nice. Thank you. Thank you for that. All right, so now we have to take over the rest of these 15 asteroids. Nice, you guys. We did not do too bad here. I mean, I got to say. Oh, God. Oh, well, anyway, I'm probably going to record a bit of Shadows of the Damned after this. I mean, I don't really know what else there is to do. I'm almost ready to finish Shadows of the Damned. If, if I can, like, spoil something for you guys, I think I'm gonna do a Wii game, like, a new Wii game that recently came out. I mean, pretty soon here. Um, probably one of my old old school favorites of the of the genre, so. And when I say new, it's just because it's kind of, it's, I don't know, it's kind of a weird oh, God damn it, why aren't you taking this planet over? It's just a stupid defense tree. Whatever, we'll, we'll start taking this one over. And this one to the left. To the left! To the left! And they're gonna have a bunch of- Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Alright, let's see what's over here. Looks like just a bunch of defense trees. Let's just take it over quick, please. Hmm. We're gonna want our- Alright, there we go. We're gonna want to have at least two, maybe, people over here. So yeah, the next one I think might be a Wii game. I was also- <laughs> I'm not going to spoil another one I had a plans for because I was already talking about this in a Shadows of the Damned episode that I had at least three projects I wanted to do for Let's Play number 10 slash 11 because, or, I mean, yeah, because, you know, you guys saw maybe that Splinter Cell LP I did, but I don't really talk about it much because I really wish I had finished it at some point. And all right, so this paradoxical device seems to be a celestial calendar. It predicts eminent celestial events correctly, yet future predictions seem to alter on a regular basis. Well, doesn't that debunk everything you've ever learned about God? But um, what was I talking about? Yeah, I have like so many plans. Like I've already uploaded like two previews for Let's Play number ten, and uh, both of them are privated. Obviously, it's just to see how the um how it'd look considering the way I'm recording them one of them differently I should say so so just kind of keep that in mind because it's kind of interesting I guess I don't know so I think I already no maybe I talked about that in the scrapped recording prior to this oh shit we're already almost at half an hour aren't we well fuck no 23 minutes unless I started recording at a different time than I think I did we're, we're good I think so we're gonna send this guy over here and this guy over here and this guy, we're going to stay here. We're going to send this one over here. Ooh, those are pretty... Oh, shit. Okay, so this one is going to be a little tricky. Um, yeah, you have done it. The strategic foothold is now ours. This cluster has given us access to others. This time, I'm sending you far away. Deep space awaits. Oh, man. You guys, if you have been enjoying this, like legitimately enjoying watching me do this, then you guys are going to be in for some pretty cool shit. Otherwise, it's just going to be the same old stuff. So anyway, next time, containment number two, level 16 out of 25. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of my mindless ranting. I hope to see you guys next time on Euphoria, and I will talk to you guys later.
here. God damn it. You don't even know want to know what a jerk hole looks like to me. Ugh. This fucking horse. Come on. We should be having a new mine here pretty soon because I'm pretty sure we killed him. All right, good. We took... Oh, did we? Uh-oh. Not good. This is our mine. And that is our mine as well. All right, why can't we go over there yet? It's not letting... Oh, do we... Have... Are you kidding me? You're not going to... Wait, we can't... You can't tell me we can't go over here. You... Oh. oh God damn it. Let's... For the love of God. You game. 